Okay, everybody, we've got a real treat this time. That's right, 1981 Donruss. Yes, one of the great sets of all time. <laughs> okay, so, uh, of course, 81 Donruss, that was the first, uh, that was the first year um, they uh, directly competed with Topps. Uh, Fleer did the same thing that year, so it was an interesting year. And uh, I collected all three, uh, Donruss, uh, Topps, and Fleer. And uh, I think probably Topps was the one I collected the most, but probably Donruss was second. And uh, so this, I actually have two wax boxes. One of them is uh, a baseball card exchange uh, sealed box, um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll hold on to it for a while. But I also have another box here, which is just a, which is a, uh, was actually from the same seller. Um, so I, I'm, I believe this is a, a legitimate. So 30 cents for the pack, uh, for each pack. There were they did, uh, I guess, to try to get a little more business. They put 18 cards per pack uh, instead of 15. Of course there was gum in the packs. So here's the here's what they look like. Um, they do have the year right on there. Um, and you can see the gum, 18 cards. Uh, the packs, uh, the uh, uh, I think there was just there's just the one offer on the back which was a uh, uh, an album with uh, sheets to put the uh, uh, to put the cards in. So send two wrappers and nine ninety nine to get the al uh, labeled album with all the protector with all the uh, nine card sheets. Well, eighteen card sheets because you're supposed to do both sides. Um, so now the other thing about uh, I guess I kind of mix these up a little bit. Now the thing about this is uh, in part because this was the first time they were doing this, the quality control was not great, and there. Um, there are quite a few errors. Uh, the errors aren't really worth a whole lot. Um, the cards aren't worth an enormous amount either. Uh, the Hall of Famers, uh, some of those are worth uh, tens of dollars in Gem Mint 10. And uh, as far as rookies, uh, the Tim Raines rookie is in here. However, there's no Baines rookie and there's no Valenzuela rookie. So the Raines rookie is really the only only really significant one. And uh, uh, I've already, I've, uh, in the 81 tops, I comment a lot on the, I commented a lot on the players and going through the vending box. Uh, I may not comment quite as much about the players. I'm going to try though, uh, I'm not, I'm not an expert on all the variations. This was not something I really knew about back in uh, 1981 in terms of errors and variations and corrected stuff. So, uh, so uh, I've, I've got a list here, an online list here off to my right that I may refer to. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to save a couple of these wrappers just for. Oops, I don't, I did not that one. I guess. I think like these wrappers all have at least one one place on them that 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 rips. Uh, so that one's not going to be that one won't be saved. I'm expecting the gum to stick to the car, first card. We'll see about that. Yeah. Now this is a common thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with the... And so I'm not even... I'm just going to throw those cards away. This is actually Bobby Bonds. Um, I think there was a... Uh, I don't know if there was any kind of error or variation on that, but the, the gum here is... I mean, it's pulling paper off, so there's no point, and it's stained very badly, so... No point in saving that card. Uh, I am going to put aside the Hall of Famers, and I'll go through at some point uh, to look to see if there are any any other cards that maybe might be worth grading. If I decide to, I'm still I'm leaning toward maybe getting some cards graded, but I haven't fully made that uh, uh, made that decision yet. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, so we'll start out here. Uh, Bert Campanaris, um, John Mayberry, Mark Fidrich. Um, that one probably had a little bit of value back then. Uh, Randy Martin, Joe Charbonneau. Now that's actually, that's the, uh, kind of the lower tier rookie. Uh, Charbonneau was kind of a sensation, uh, at the time. 
Um, he was kind of an eccentric uh, guy. He only really played one full year, and um, and then uh, uh, injuries uh, got him. So he never really uh, never really had much of a career. Um, one of the things that Donruss did here that was different is, and this kind of harkened back to older Topps cards. Uh, they only gave the lifetime totals and their 1980 totals. And that was kind of a turnoff for a lot of people, including myself. I mean, I still collected them. Um, they also, but they also, they made up for that by giving some text highlights uh, for the players. So that was, that was kind of nice. Um, the, uh, the Charbonneau uh, variation. So here, for some reason, Phillies traded him to the tribe. Um... And uh, the other variation is they leave off the phrase for some reason, so whatever. <laughs> um, but this is uh, this is his rookie. Uh, like I said, I'm not uh, not real sure whether uh, some of these, you know, all how many of these uh, cards have uh, have some value. The the uh, I mean, I'm looking. I just went here onto the PSA site and a, a gem mint. Uh, sorry, a, a mint nine of this card with the for some reason variation sold for a whopping four dollars and forty seven cents. So, uh, not a lot of value. Collation was a big problem at times. Um, if you've if you've seen the Jabs family opening of eighty one Donruss, which is a classic uh, video, you should go see. Um, the collation was terrible. Uh, basically, just got more or less Royals and and. Uh, and uh, Yankees, um, and you know, got like 30 of some cards. Um, already, we're looking, it's looking like we're okay on that. Uh, Raphael Landestoy, Eddie Murray, there's our first, uh, first Hall of Famer. Uh, Bill Golickson, John Fulgham. That was this is another thing the quality control on the photos, not so great. Um, this is a, a photo almost looks out of focus here, and it's very, uh, low contrast that's another characteristic of a lot of these cards uh it just is odd i don't know whether that was just because they they didn't quite know what they were doing and they got in over their heads whether they were just trying to go cheap and hope for the best don't know but uh that's our first pack let me see if i can open one of these uh open one of these without ripping anything Nope, well, not that one. That one is a little tighter. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll get one eventually. Uh, yeah, that's Jerry Royce. Sorry, Jerry. Let's see. Another very low contrast out of... Uh, almost out of focus picture there of Greg Gross. And even the pictures that are that are good, the pictures generally just aren't super high quality. Um, there's a Bill Verdon manager card. Uh, the manager card here uh, gives the same tech stuff and then it gives uh, uh, the major league record for the player if they played in the major leagues, if most of them did. Bill Verdon actually had a pretty long career. He played over 1,500 games and then his record as a manager. Uh, See Hoskin Powell, Davy Lopes, Pete Falcone, John Candelari, the Candyman, Tommy Boggs, Ron LaFleur, Jerry Martin, Gary Thomason. Okay, so nothing, nothing interesting in, in that pack. Yeah, I don't know how many. I don't know whether I'm going to get many wrappers out of this or not. I'm I'm just doing that for my own collections. I'm uh, for my own. Not not a big deal. Jose Cruz is is gummed and card damage. Beyond that. Steve Murrah, another one of these badly, kind of low-quality pictures. That's a really, I mean, that <laughs> makes me think like my glasses aren't working right. Uh, Glenn Adams, Bob Pate, Doug Flynn, Steve Nicosia. But at least the coalition here, we're getting, uh, getting a variety of teams. Uh, Mookie Wilson, Mike Vale, Doug, uh, Dave Rader, uh, Bill Fahey. Now, um, let's see, Fahey, I believe there's a, 
Was there, was there an error on his? No, okay, somebody else. Uh, Bill Cottle, Kenny Landro, Dave Stapleton, and Preston Hanna. So, uh, no repeats yet in a variety of teams, but uh, we've only picked up one uh, one Hall of Famer, which um, well, maybe not that unusual, but there are, there are a lot of Hall of Famers in, uh, in sets of this era. I'm going to try to gently open this. Well, it's got a wrinkle in it, but... Okay, there we go. I've got a good... I have a good wrapper. As well, assuming the gum doesn't stick to it too badly. Yeah, I mean, it's damaged by the gum, but that's a, a pretty clean wrapper. Pretty clean wrapper on this side, so there we go. We'll go in my collection. Okay, so that's uh, Phil Garner, Scrap Iron, Damaged by the Gum. Dave Edwards, Randy Lurch, Dave Kingman, Steve Howell, Dave Roberts, uh, Fred Stanley, John Verhoeven, uh, Joe Molfitano Manager Card, Gary Ward, Dennis Lamp, Dave Ford and Bob McClure, so we're still uh, still running low on the uh, on the stars, which is interesting. Oops, yeah, not that one. Ron Jackson is the sacrificial lamb. Uh, Larry Bradford, uh, Bradford, uh, Bob Ochinko. Now that were, there was a variation. Uh, variation there. Um, traded to Indians. That's a, let's see, is that a variation? Let me see. I'm going to look that up. Uh, so, yeah, so traded to, and there was another times that he was, uh, uh, another other variation where it was says involved in a trade, um, but that's not really an error. It's just a variation. Butch Hobson, uh, another manager, Gene Michael card. Very, very close up on that picture on that one. Dick Tidrow. So what is that? That's six packs, five packs, 75 cards. We've only got one. Hall of Famer or Star. It's not just Hall of Famers. It's also but Pete Rose. There are several Pete Rose cards in the set, and those are those have some uh, have some value as well. I tore that just a little bit. Yeah, Joe Lafave, Al Herbosky, also damaged by the uh, by the gum. Well, he's uh, he's all he's worked up a sweat there. That's a well, that's a terrible picture. Uh, Cards also damaged. I, these these are not these are not incredibly valuable cards. I'm uh, I'm gonna you know, anything that's really badly damaged. I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, let's see, Dave Steeb. Well, that's kind of a semi star there. Well, somewhat of a star, not not a Hall of Fame quality star, but Bobby Maddock, another manager card. Okay, so there's a, finally another Hall of Famer, Bruce Souter. Keith Smith looking like he's, I guess he's squinting into the sun. Oh, sorry, 18 cards. Yeah, so that's so five, six packs now. That's going on 100 cards. I was thinking 15 out of, uh, out of habit. Okay, Juan Beniquez gets the gum, and Mike Edwards is also damaged by the gum. Uh, so here's a special Steve Stone uh, Cy Young card. And one of the things on these, some of these things, that the things on here are written kind of colloquially, and then here's this all long, uh, uh, long uh, text here. For the most part, Steve Stone admitted philosophically that he'd been a 500 pitcher. Um, so when he signed a four-year contract as a free agent with the Orioles in 1978, he admitted the $10,000 bonus clause if he should win the Cy Young Award was a bit presumptuous. Uh, it was, said Stone, like an insurance salesman tell you, we'll give you $50,000 if an elephant falls on you because, because we know darn well an elephant isn't going to fall on you. 
uh, and he and he, and he won, won the Cy Young. <laughs> so I guess that's something. Uh, uh, Tim Raines. Okay, so that's the uh, so already we got the we got the big rookie. Um, so they mentioned he's minor league player of the year in 1980. He only played he only played in 15 games. Um, during the season, so this is this is uh, corners damaged a little bit, but this is interesting because he gets a full card by himself, which only happened in the tops. I believe that in the tops traded set in 1981, he had a he got a full card, but he was on one of the uh, shared one of the uh, the Expos rookie uh, rookie stars card. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, Mickey Rivers, oh, Mike Schmidt. That's an MVP card. That's like the Steve Stone. Uh, uh, Steve Stone card. Um, talk about his his power. Blah blah blah. Let's see, um, Schmidt winning the MVP. And it gives the totals of, of comparing Schmidt's home run totals versus other people. He's head and shoulders above everybody from '74 through '80, of course. Danny Ainge. Okay, so uh, Danny Ainge. This is. Uh, also, this is his rookie card. Of course, he went on to play for the Celtics. Um, he had a short run at baseball. wasn't particularly good at the major league level. And they comment here, his season was, again, abbreviated. Oh, no, wait, okay. He, is this, no, no, I'm sorry. I apologize. This is not his rookie card. As 79, it never, as 80 was his rookie card. Sorry about that. Uh, season was, again, abbreviated due to his commitment to complete his studies at Brigham Young University, where he also plays basketball. So... So he was splitting his time between college and Major League Baseball and basketball, and he ended up uh, doing a lot better at basketball. A special best hitters card with uh, George Brett and Rod Carew. Um, let's see, in the last nine years, eight American League batting titles have been won by either George or Rod. Okay. So, two Hall of Famers on that one. I don't really remember remember that card. I mean, I remember very clear. I mean, I remember the, the you know the uh, the design and everything for these cards. Uh, you know, very very clearly. Um, I don't remember a lot of the specifics on the set. Again, I think you know Tops was a in my mind a much bigger and better set in '81. Ah, boy, the gum really sticking there. And Jose Morales uh, gets the gum. Now the checklist, uh, because there are variations in the cards, and there are error cards, some of the checklists share those. So this checklist, you're looking for Gary Matthews. And so this is the, um, uh, so this is the, uh, the error with Gary Matthews' last name spelled with one T instead of two Ts, which is correct. And uh, so they, when they, they corrected in a later printing run, uh, Gary Matthews' name on his card and also on the checklist. So that's a, so that's a the error on the checklist there. I don't know what that says about how early this uh, batch of cards are. I don't know. I don't know anything about just when they made these corrections. Okay. There's the. Uh, there's the. Corresponding a Cy Young card for uh, National League for Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer. Reggie. So we got another Hall of Famer there. Starting to pick up on the Hall of Famers now. And let's see, this checklist. Um, let's see. So the error, the uh, error card on, from this checklist is uh, is uh, Glenn Adams, and this is the error. Uh, Glenn Adams' name is actually spelled with two N's, and so so this must be a relatively. I guess this must be a relatively early box. I don't know. It's hard to say, but it's uh, it has the original error. Two two uh, error cards there. The, I mean, the checklist aren't error cards. The checklist cards are variations because uh, 
technically because it's the because the name on there does match the spelling on the regular card, so the checklists are correct as far as they as far as uh, what the cards are. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, I think the bigger problem with the uh, with with keeping the uh, wrappers intact is the gum. Okay, Ron Guidry. Well, that's the I think that's the best player we've had that's been ruined by the gum. That, that gum you can almost get that gum off and see what's behind it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And there's the George Rett MVP card. Getting all these MVP and uh, Cy Young cards, but not the uh, not their base cards. Okay, Pete Rose. So this is so this is Pete Rose's um, base card, and there is a there is a uh, variation on this one, and the and the error here for early. Pete Rose career highlight C card 251. The correction says C card um, 371. So it looks like looks like we've got uh, we do have an error box here. So that's so that's kind of that's kind of neat. And I'll try to keep an eye on uh, errors. I may not catch everything. And Carl Yastrzemski, Hall of Famer. Um, interestingly, now I wonder if this is a special card because it does not have doesn't have his regular uh, uh, stats on here. It just has his hits and home runs for his career. I'll have to see uh, see what's going on there. Okay, so now we're going to the second second stack here. Not quite as concerned with uh, with uh, wrappers here. And it's marked clear. Gets trashed. Robin Yale, Hall of Famer. Okay, that's good. The condition on these cards is generally pretty good. They have they have the same uh, centering issues. Um, also, a lot of the some of the cuts are pretty rough on some of these. And here, uh, Nolan Ryan, maybe with a, with corner damage and a very rough cut. I don't know. That's a really crooked cut too. That's a I don't know what. <laughs> geez, um, but. Hall of Famer anyway, and uh, Jim Palmer Hall of Famer. Dickie Thon. We had Mike Torres earlier. It was Mike Torres who hit Dickie Thon in the eye with a pitch that uh, derailed uh, Thon's career. Uh, this might technically be his rookie card. And uh, he was off to a great start on his career, and then uh, came back after the injury, but wasn't was never quite the same. Yeah, Rich Wortham, J.R. Richard, another one where it had injury problems. Um, and so they actually go into detail here. So this is one nice thing about the cards here. So was well on his way to a spectacular season when back problems and what was disclosed as a, quote, dead arm curtailed his activities after the All-Star break. After being briefly hospitalized, he resumed workouts on July 26. Four days later, he collapsed in the outfield while doing some throwing, and it was discovered he had suffered a stroke. Um, so, and uh, he, uh, he did make it back to the minors in 82 and 83, uh, but never made it back to the majors. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. That's actually a reasonable picture, I would say. Alfredo Griffin, Dan Petrie. Okay, I think this may be skinning into some of the first. I think we had Petrie and Manning before. I'm not sure. We're not getting a lot of repeat cards, so that's uh, so that's good. Dave Concepcion, part of the Big Red Machine, mid '70s. Spaceman Bill Lee. It's not that the cards are sticking to each other, but they're they're not maybe they're not as smooth as they could be. I don't know what's why that does that. And Rod Carew, here's the Rod Carew's base card. And well, maybe this is his base card. <laughs> uh, it's another one that just has 
uh, just has uh, some basic uh, basic stats for the 19 his 1970s decade. God, we're already 25 minutes into this video. <laughs> I apologize. I get kind of wordy, but I like these cards, and I like talking about I like talking about baseball from back in the day. Ah, so here we got our first good card that's ruined. Uh, Jack Morris Hall of Famer. And these are the Tigers. Yeah, sorry, Jack. Oh, <laughs> so the I mentioned that other video from uh, Jab's family. This was the card that <laughs> this was the card that was kind of the bane of his existence. On that, he, some some packs had like had three of this card and some other cards, but this I think was the one that was the most there. So we uh, had to get him. And the first checklist. So the error here is. The name Tom Donahue should be spelled with a D O N O H U E, and it's uh, it's spelled with an A here. So again, that's the uh, that's the uh, error. Rodney, is that Rodney Scott? Uh, Rodney Scott has got the damage. We already had him. Mike Phillips has got some gum damage. Ferguson Jenkins, Hall of Famer. Some damage on that card, too. Oh, that's a very blurry photo of uh, Bob Horner. Mickey Klutz. Rather unfortunate, unfortunate name for a baseball player to be a klutz. All right. Oh, actually, this wrapper. Huh, I was up on it really fast, and it was clean, and then I slowed down and it ripped, it tore. Uh, Joe Ferguson got the gum. Jeff Reardon's got damage. Another Hall of Famer, Burt Bly Levin. Oh, Ricky Henderson, quite a bit off center now. In high condition, this is a uh, that's one of the most valuable cards in the set. on the back there. Frank Lacourt gets the gum. Larry Heisel. Let's see. Dennis Eckersley. Okay, so we're going to have two Hall of Famers at least in this pack. Oh, and we got, we finally, we got Carlton's, uh, we got two cards here, sorry. There we go, Dan Ford. And we got Steve Carlton's base card here. So, Tommy John, not a Hall of Famer, but, uh, not too far away from it. They do mention his uh, surgery. Missed entire season in 1975. Missed entire season having major surgery on his left elbow that involved the transplanting of a tendon from his leg. Tommy John surgery. Um, and there's Willie Stargell with his star hat. I wonder if it's made of gel. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's just one one part of the, the thing that seems to always tear. Uh, Gary Renicky is the uh, is the gum guy. And this is okay. So this is you know some more repeats in here. Which I mean that's fine. We're you know we're almost halfway through the box, so you expect to start getting repeats at uh, doubles at some point. But otherwise, the collation collation is good on this one. Okay, Bert Hooten gets the gum. Is that her 
Hroboski ugly, that terrible Hroboski card again. Yeah, this is very similar to what we had, at the, some stuff we had at the very beginning. There's another uh, Steve Sun Cy Young. I can't remember, did I accidentally put that in the in the good list here? Okay, no. For some reason I was wondering whether I put that in the wrong, put that mistakenly in the in the best pile. Nothing, nothing against Steve Stone, but he's a long way from being a Hall of Famer. Uh, there's uh, Terry Crowley with the gum. Another Bruce Souter. And we're getting getting a lot of repeats now. There's that Mike Schmidt MVP card. There's Danny Ainge again. Territory again. Tim Raines again. That's I guess that's okay. All right, that's half the box, and we're only 31 minutes into the video. Probably gonna go a little faster here for the uh, second half. Milt May, the gum. Okay, these are some new. Uh, these are some new ones here. Daryl Evans is definitely new. Frank Tanana is definitely new. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, and Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer, back-to-back -back Hall of Famers. Bench uh, may have a little bit of wax on him. Tony Bernazard. Oh, that gum didn't stick too bad, but obviously the card's damaged. Lou Whitaker, looking pretty sharp there. Has something in his mouth, whether it's gum or chaw or what. Uh, possible future Hall of Famer there. Um, I, I, I may go back through here and put some of the possible future Hall of Famers back in there. I, I did that with the, some of the other things that I've that I've been doing. I just I didn't hadn't been doing it on this one. In part because these are not particularly again these are not uh, sensationally valuable. Uh, Cards. There's Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. First one of those we've had. Jerry Dubzinski with some wax on him. Jamie Quirk gets the gum. Manny Moda. It does mention his pinch hitting here. Improved his own Major League pinch hitting record by reaching the 150 pinch hit plateau and now has a career 299 pinch hitting average. Interesting. We'll be on we'll be on the sidelines again in 1981 as Dodger batting coach. But come September, it's a good bet he'll be activated again to further embellish his pinch hitting marks. So, yeah, 1980 he only had seven at bats. That's interesting. But in September, when the roster uh, rosters expand to, expanded to 40 players, so plenty of room to put him on there. Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer, recent. Hall of Famer. Oh yeah, this okay. So here's uh, so here's the. Uh, I think this is the first actual name error we have. Dwayne Kuiper, D W A N E. How how does that how does that get by? I mean, okay. I mean, you know, some people do spell it uh, with uh, have a Y in there. I mean, it's but you know you you. You missed. They missed it both ways. You know, they missed the 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 Dwayne with the Y in it, and then they missed the the Dwayne D U A N E. They got it right on the back, um, but that is uh, what card number is that? That's three nineteen, and uh, that is a that is a, a error card. Which was corrected later. Ooh, boy. Oh, my. Major damage on this one. Wow. I wonder what happened on that one. So Rod Carew, so we lost a Hall of Famer. And we lose Richie, Richie Zisk. Wow. And, and Joe Morgan, another Hall of Famer. We hadn't had him yet. And Mark Fidrich. And Barry Bunnell. And Bob Boone. Okay, so let's see. These are backwards. Something, so something weird on that pack. Okay, but these cards seem to be okay. There's uh, Doug DeSensei, 
and uh, Pete Rose. So this is the this is Pete Rose. This is the card number two, the two eighty one card, two fifty one card that's referenced um, on his uh, base card. Yogi Berra. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer, but Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame uh, player. And there's his coach's card. I don't know. I may separate that out later. And Reese gets the gum. Oh, that one's badly cut. Steve Yeager chilling out in the dugout. Jeffrey Leonard looks like he's about to spit. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's a nighttime shot uh, up against the ivy in the outfield wall. That's, I think that's a nice shot because it looks like it's lit with a flash. Yeah, it's lit with a flash. It's a very strong shadow. That's, I wonder what the story behind that picture is. Uh, Pat Zachary gets the gum. Getting some of these again are repeats. I think that's the first Cesar Sedania we've had, maybe. Uh, but a lot of repeats in here. And gum on the back of Dave Raider's card. Or, I'm sorry, uh, wax on the back of it. <clears throat> Gene Tennis had the gum. that sequence before. But again, the uh, I would say the, co the correlation here is uh, what we'll call normal. I mean, it's the same sort of thing you would get, uh, you know, in a, a wax box of tops. Uh, Gary Ward with the gum. Mike Schmidt, his base card. Is that the first base card of him we've had? I don't remember. Let's go Stremsky again. Okay, so yeah, so okay, so okay, so yeah, this is the real base Yastremsky that has his 1980 and full lifetime stats. The Yastremsky we had back here. Let me find it. Was it that far back? Yeah, there we go. Different picture. And that's a special card that has his talking about being on the 3,000 hit, 4,000 home run club. First American League player to do that. So, but otherwise, it's not like there's any late different, you know, different picture, but nothing to indicate until you go to the back that it's a special card. And Ricky Peters. Greg Nettles gets the gum. I don't know whether you can hear it. It is raining, actually raining fairly hard outside. I'm not sure exactly when I post this, but it's, uh, it's March right now. It's mid-March. Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer, that's his base card. Okay, that's three quarters. Now the last stack. Alan Ishby with the gum. Oh, another awful, just an awful picture, awful photograph, blurry. Poor contrast. Good Lord, it's like they shot this on, like a, like a roll of, uh, like a ten-year-old roll of film that they they happen to find in the bottom of their their uh, camera bag. <laughs> Jeez, 
There's Bobby Gritch. Here's that Yogi Berra coach card again. Uh, Steve Rogers. Okay, that's another that's another error. Again, it's possible I have missed uh, it's possible I've missed a name error card, but um, but uh, Steve Rogers. That is. Uh, I just want to double check. That's incorrect. His name does not have a D in it. We'll see if it's correct here. And it's correct on the back, um, but wrong on the front. Must have had a different team working on the front fronts of the cards and the backs of the cards. Tommy Herr gets the gum. There's Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. George Brett. That's his base card. That's good. Of course, this is uh, 19, 1980. It was the year he hit 390. Let's see. I think it's Fleer, there's an error or a variation where somewhere the 390 average doesn't have a period in front of it, a dot in front of it. But that's not Donneris, that's Fleer. Another, this Keith Hernandez, let's see. That other really blurry card from the last pack, was that also the Cardinals? Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check that out. Let's see, yeah, George Frazier, yeah, these, <laughs> these were these were taken on the same same day with the same same crappy roll of film. <laughs> That's funny. Bill Russell gets the gum. Now we get back to back Jacksons. There's Billy Martin giving the thumbs up, his manager card. Dwight Evans, again, possible future Hall of Famer. Dale Murphy. Maybe not. His numbers are. One of the things about Dale Murphy, too, I mean, his. You know, his. One thing you have to, when you look at Murphy's hitting numbers, is that, you know, he played most of his career in Atlanta, which Atlanta Fulton County Stadium was called the launching pad for a reason. And so that's one of the reasons why his, even though his raw numbers look pretty good, you have to kind of deflate them a little bit for having such a good hitting park uh, to come home to. <coughs> Manny Sanguian, always with a smile on his face. Dallas Green manager card. Dave Smith with the gum. And, ah, oh, well, Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer, but gum damage. There's Reggie, and that, okay, that's one, that's a, um, a bonus card for Reggie. Um, the 400 home run club. At this point, to give you some idea, through the 1980 season, let's see if I can get that, uh, there were 18 players in the uh, 40 home run, 400 home run club. Now there's a lot more. And many of them are struggling to get into the Hall of Fame. Ozzie Smith, there we go. The Hall of Famer there. Tom Seaver. Okay, that's another that's a special card. Um, that's his uh, that's his almost 3,000 strikeouts card. He missed by 12 strikeouts in 1980. He ended up getting that in 81. So that's kind of I guess that's kind of what these card these special cards are commemorating some milestone, but you know you can't tell from the front of the card that it's anything different. Oh, lost another Hall of Famer to the gum, and that one's got the gum too. Pete Rose, which one is this? Okay, this is this is his base. That, that must be his base card, I guess. Three uh, three seventy one. Got 
Vita Blue with a very high leg kick. Nice crotch shot there in that picture. <laughs> I mean, how do you look at that picture and say, yeah, that's the one. Jerry Kuzman, very badly damaged. We got, we're gonna have multiple damage cards here. Bob McClure, Ron Jackson, Larry Bradford, Bob Lachinko, Butch Hobson, Carlos Lascano, Gene Michael also damaged, Bombo Rivera. Yeah, that card's got a little bit of a warp in it. Don't know whether it's really damaged or not, but I don't know, there's a couple of those packs that for some reason had much damage on them. Most of them it was just the back card or the front card that got damaged. Yeah, there's another Cardinals picture, another blurry, low contrast picture. Ah, oh, Sparky Anderson manager gets the uh, gets the gum that time. Lucky Dent. Tony Larusa manager. Joaquin Andahar with those great, uh, great old. Uh, early 80s uh, Astros unis. Tom Seaver, Hall of Famer, and that is his base card. Of course it does, it has his 2988 strikeouts listed there. Okay, almost done. Jim Palmer ruined the uh, Shane East coach. Let's see, interim interim manager. Interim manager, but not listed as manager. I don't know. Wow, Dave Garcia. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty hard to mistake him for a player. Dave Garcia. Wow. Yeah, he was, uh, well, I guess he was 61, 60, 61 when these cards came out, so I guess not too old. Definitely been older managers. Okay, here's another spelling error. Luis Pujols is Pujols. <laughs> Correct on the back again, but uh, wrong on the front. So, again, that's kind of neat that we got, uh, again, I don't know how rare, really, how rare um, the uh, the original errors are relative to the later cards. I mean, they, they don't they don't seem to really command a huge premium. I mean, it's, you know, 81 Donruss. These, again, these cards aren't terribly valuable in the first place. Um, but still neat to get those, uh, get those error cards. Like I said, I have no idea as a kid. You know, I wouldn't have had any idea. If I ever, if I ever get my uh, get my childhood cards back, which I might, they still they're still in a box in a closet somewhere uh, back at my parents' house. Um, I'll have to see uh, see what I got there. Gaylord Perry, Hall of Famer. It might be the last Hall of Famer we get. Now well, Oliver not too far away from being a Hall of Famer in terms of his stats. Yep, that was the last Hall of Famer. So that's the 81 Donruss box. So um, this is a perfectly legitimate box. Um, no, uh, no problems here. We got a nice distribution of cards. Um, got some repeat sequences as expected, but you know certainly in terms of the cards we got, uh, you know nothing different in terms of uh, you know compared to say uh, you know a, a tops box, a nice assortment. We got most of the you know most of the Hall of Famers, probably not not quite all of them, but we. Um, I mean, technically there are more cards in this box. I think what is six hundred and forty? What is that number? Yeah, 648 cards in the box, 
which is, and the set has 600, I believe. Yeah, 600 in the set. But that does not mean you're going to get every card in a wax box because of repeats. You're going to get repeats. So, but we still got probably two thirds, at least two thirds of the set. So that's good. So no, uh, no problems here. Okay. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. This other, this uh, bit of nostalgia here for a um, somewhat obscure, somewhat obscure uh, set. Uh, but it's one that I remember from my childhood, so it's kind of nice to do my first uh, Donruss pack openings uh, in, uh, well, almost 40 years. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.